Saturday of the Tenth Week in Ordinary Time A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. And all this is from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation, namely, God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities, he heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading comes from 2 Corinthians 5, 14-21. Paul speaks about the fact that Jesus has died for us, and so, in a sense, we've all died in him. We celebrate that fact when we celebrate the sacrament of baptism that we descend into those waters of death so that we might rise with Christ. And Jesus took on our flesh. But even though he took on our flesh, we no longer think in a fleshly way. Christ is a new creation. He's risen from the dead. And we have to rise from our death too. The death that we experience in our weakness and our brokenness and our sinfulness. Christ is our reconciliation. We can make peace with God. We can make peace with others if we just live in Christ. And so we have to already experience the promise of the resurrection here on earth. Because when we die to sin, when we die to ourselves, then we're already living in Christ. God loved us so much that he made the one who did not know sin to be sin. 
Not that Jesus was filled with sin, but Jesus shared our sinful nature so that we might now get rid of our sinful nature and live in the righteousness of God. Because he has experienced everything that we experience, he knows how to empathize with us and lead us out of our mortal danger. The Gospel is from Matthew 5, 33-37, a continuation of the Sermon on the Mount. In this passage, Jesus talks about oaths. One of the formulas for oaths in the Old Testament times was as God lives, this is true, this is true. In other words, if I'm telling a lie, may God die. They would swear upon God's name, they would swear upon the temple, upon the altar, upon the gifts on the altar. And Jesus says, stop all of these swearing formulas. Just tell the truth. If it's yes, say yes. If it's no, say no. Don't play games with the truth. Be so transparent, so authentic, that people can see that whatever you say is in fact what is. And may God bless you.